ਸਤਨਾਮ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਸੋਰਠ ਮਹੱਲਾ ਪੰਜਵਾ ਹਮਰੀ ਗਣਤ ਨਾ ਗਣਿਆ ਕਾਈ ਆਪਣਾ ਬਿਰਦ ਪਛਾਣ ਹਾਥ ਦੇ ਰਾਖੇ ਕਰ ਆਪਣੇ ਸਦਾ ਸਦਾ ਰੰਗ ਮਾਣ ਹਮਰੀ ਗਣਤ ਨਾ ਗਣਿਆ ਕਾਈ ਆਪਣਾ ਬਿਰਦ ਪਛਾਣ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਧੰਨ ਧੰਨ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਪਤਤ ਪਾਵਨ ਭਗਤ ਵਚਨ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਦੇ ਖਜ਼ਾਨੇ ਜੋਤ ਰੂਪ ਧੰਨ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਦੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਸਾਧ ਸੰਗਤ ਜੀ ਬਲੈਸਡ ਵੀ ਗਾਦ ਹੀਅਰ ਔਨ ਦ ਫਰਸਟ ਫੁੱਲ ਡੇ ਆਫ ਦ ਕੰਪ ਧੰਨ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਕੇਮ ਰੀ ਅਰਲੀ ਆਵਰਸ ਆਫ ਦਿਸ ਮੋਲੈਸਟਸ ਵਿਦ ਦਿਸ ਹੁਕਮ ਨਾਮਾ ਦਿਸ ਆਰਡਰ ਫੋਰ ਦ ਡੇ ਦਿਸ ਟੀਚਿੰਗ ਫੋਰ ਦ ਡੇ ਫੋਰ ਦ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਫਿਊ ਮਿਨਟਸ ਵੀ ਗੋਨ ਰਿਫਲੈਕਟ ਔਨ ਵਾਟ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਇਸ ਟੀਚਿੰਗ ਇਸ ਔਨ ਵਾਟ ਵੀ ਸ਼ੁਡ ਬੀ ਥਿੰਕਿੰਗ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਫੋਰ ਦ ਹੋਲ ਆਫ ਦਿਸ ਡੇ ਦਿਸ ਵਿਦ ਦ ਹੁਕਮ ਨਾਮਾ ਔਨ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਕੇਮ ਐਟ 4 ਏਐਮ ਦਿਸ ਮਾਰਨਿੰਗ ਸਤਨਾਮ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਸੋਰਠ ਮਹੱਲਾ ਪੰਜਵਾ ਸੋਰਠ ਇਸ ਦਰਾਗ ਦਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਰਜਨ ਦੇਵ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਮਹੱਲਾ ਪੰਜਵਾ ਦ ਫਿਫਥ ਗੁਰੂ ਦ ਫਿਫਥ ਸਰੂਪ ਦ ਫਿਫਥ ਫਾਰਮ ਮਹੱਲਾ ਮੀਨਸ ਫਾਰਮ ਸੋ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਦ ਫਿਫਥ ਫਾਰਮ ਆਫ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਔਨ ਥਿਸ ਅਰਥ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਦ ਫਿਫਥ ਫਾਰਮ ਔਰ ਦ ਫਿਫਥ ਗੁਰੂ ਆਫਟਰ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਐਂਡ ਥਰੂ ਦ ਰਾਗ ਆਫ ਸੋਰਠ ਵਿਚ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਫੈਮਿਨਿਨ ਰਾਗ they have blessed us with this message hamari ganat na ganya kai apna birth pashan the uthanaka or the background to this shabad actually goes back to when sri guru arjan dev sahib ji was collecting the gurbani from the previous gurus or the potiya of gurbani from the previous gurus when they were going to prepare for the first time sri guru granth sahib ji they had to go themselves to baba mohan ji who was the son of sri guru amar das sahib ji they had managed to get the bothia from sri guru nanak dev sahib ji's bani sri guru angad dev sahib ji's bani the first and second gurus they the son of sri guru amar das sahib ji he refused to give the bothia the good ke the gurbani of sri guru amar das sahib ji he refused because he said i want to keep hold of those because they are a blessing from my father he didn't accept guru ram das sahib ji or fourth guru as a guru as the guru of the sikhs bhai gurdas ji and baba buddha sahib ji were sent once one after the other to try and get these both here and he refused twice and then sri guru ardan dev sahib ji went themselves they sat in the alleyway and they sang kirtan or they recited turki bani regarding the sutni of baba mohan ji mohan tere uche mandir mahal apara so in the gurbani panktiyan they praised baba mohan ji but they also mohan means god so they were praising wahi guru and then while baba mohan ji was sat in his house he wouldn't even open the door sri guru amar das sahib ji in their form came and gave them darshan and said you must give these puttiya to sri guru arjan dev sahib ji they are the fifth guru of the sikhs he then came outside gave the puttiya sri guru arjan dev sahib ji brought the puttiya barefoot they walked all the way from goindwal sahib to sri harmandar sahib to amritsar sahib where they prepared sri guru granth sahib ji for the first time <coughs> guru sahib ji is teaching us hamari ganat na ganiya kai don't count my actions it's like a prayer from us to wahi guru maybe it's our thoughts where now f- full time in the camp in the first day we're going to be going to the lectures we're going to start participating in the workshops the activities and maybe we have brought a lot of baggage with us and guru sahib ji blessed us last night by saying if you listen to the gurbani 
everything will be sorted. If you follow the teachings, everything will be sorted. So here, maybe we went away thinking, but how will I be blessed? I know when I went back last night, I thought, Guru Sahib, you give us that hukum now, my butt. What about all this baggage that I brought? I'm not a complete person. I know I've got issues. I know I've got worries, tensions, but I know I'm not a perfect person. I know I do many wrongs. And so I went away thinking, Guru Sahib Ji, please bless me with the opportunity to participate. May please allow me to participate. With your blessings, I will be able to participate, but I've got no power to do it myself. And so Guru Sahib Ji, Sri Guru Arjan Dev Sahib Ji, maybe they're obviously offering this prayer, but maybe it's a mindset that a lot of us went back in. Hamri ganatana ganiya kai. Apana berd pashan. Apana berd. Berd means I'm yours. Apana berd pashan. I'm your sevak. I mean, the translations of the Hagula have different words. And sometimes the translation of the, Gurba, the Gurbani itself is different because there's a mistake on the computer. Somebody mentioned to me about yesterday's Hukam Nama and it seems like that it's being a mistake from here. But sometimes the Gurbani is wrong in the, in the Pangti as well as the translation sometimes is different, is written in a different mindset. So, Apana Berta Pashan, recognize me as one of yours. So maybe we're having, all, all of us are having this prayer. Guru Sahib Ji is giving us the way to pray. He's giving us the way, that we sh what we should be, what our mindset should be now, because Guru Sahib Ji is ready to bless us, but we've got to put our mindset in humble form. Don't count my actions. Don't count my mistakes. Don't count my baggage. I'm not a perfect person. Recognize me as yours. That's what Guru Sahib is saying in this Pankti. Recognize me as yours. Don't count my endless mistakes. de rakhe kar apone Sada sada rang maan So haath de rakhe kar apne When we say somebody blesses you with their hands. Guru Sahib Ji, you know, you see all these photographs and they always draw Guru Sahib Ji's hand up. It's like a, a way of saying with your hand, your, their hand is over our heads. You know, it's like a blessing with the hand. So Guru Sahib Ji is saying, Haat de ra ke kar apne. With your hand, bless me. Give me those blessings. Sada sada rangaman. Come, forever give me those blessings with your hand. So that's what we should be praying to Guru Sahib Ji. And there's been many Sikhs in the past that Guru Sahib Ji saved, or many people. There was a cannibal named Golda. I'm not going to go too long because we we haven't got too long a time before we're going to kick off into the workshops. But there was a cannibal called Golda. And with Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji, they, obviously they had two companions, Pai Mardana Ji and Pai Balla Ji. And now and then Pai Mardana Ji would always either feel hungry or he sometimes want to go visit his family. And one time he said he wanted to visit his family, he's missing them. And Guru Sahib Ji goes, don't worry about them, I've already looked out for them. You stay with me. And he refused, he said a few, few times, and Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji said, go then. But Guru Sahib Ji was saying, don't go yet, this jungle is very dangerous, wait, we'll all go back to our villages after a while. But he refused, and Guru Sahib Ji said, Chal, you can go. When he walked through the jungle, he met this cannibal named Korda who captured him and took him to his place and tied him up to his tree. Guru Sahib Ji knowing everything because they know about us, they're our father, they're our mother, they know all our worries, they know all our tensions. Realized that Pai Mardana Ji has been captured and they said to Pai Balla Ji, let's go find him, he's in trouble. Because from inside Pai Mardana Ji is automatically thinking of Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji. It's like maybe we do, we think of God straight away when there's a problem, I know I do. And Guru Sahib Ji, if we build that relationship, then Pratak is a word that means actually they will come and help us in whichever form. They'll always be there for us. And so Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji went into the jungle. When they walked up, they saw Pai Mardana Ji tied up to the tree and they said to Pai Mardana, I told you not to go. Now look what's happened. Around the back of those trees was this, the hut of Korda and he was getting stuff prepared. And Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji, if you will, you can say maybe he was teaching Pai Mardana Ji a lesson. Maybe he was waiting to bless Gonda. He could have taken untied 
Pai Mardanaji there, they could have gone. But no, they backed off. And Pai Mardanaji looked and said, Guru Sahib, you've come, why don't you untie me? Sometimes we think that it's getting a bit worse, this is. Why isn't this getting better? I've done some part, I've been to the Gurdara, I've put my faith in Guruji, but this seems to be getting worse. The situation that I'm in, I'm not getting helped. And we lose faith. Pai Mardanaji lost a little bit of faith because he saw Guru Nanak Dev Ji and Pai Balaji backing off and he felt they've come, they haven't untied me, now they're leaving me. So sometimes our situations become worse but we still, and we lose faith, but we should always have faith. But when Korda came out, he untied Pai Mardana and he put him into a boiling cauldron of water. When Pai Mardana Ji, all he could think of was Tan Siri Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji, Tan Siri Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji. As soon as he mentioned Tan Siri Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji and he was put in the cauldron, the boiling water cooled and it went cold. And Gorda looked around thinking, what's happened here? And when he looked up, he saw Siri Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji and just with their darshan, he was blessed, he was saved. He ran inside of his house and he brought a mirror out. He brought a mirror and he put it in front of Siri Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji for them to look inside the mirror. And Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji looked exactly the same. And you'd think, why were they putting a mirror in front of Siri Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji? Because Gorda previously had done some wrong deeds and due to his wrong actions, his bad actions, he'd become a cannibal in the cannibal way. And his Ustad, his teacher had told him, gave him this mirror. It was his Ustad that sort of let him go in this way, but he said, you've got this mirror, if the person who will bless you, when you show them this mirror, their reflection will be seen. Other people, you'll see what they are in their past lives. For instance, you know, when Pai Mardana Ji or, or anybody else, let's say if anybody else would come and they'd look at it, they'd look as their, their reflection would be what they were in their past life. But Siri Guru Nanak Dev Sahib looked like Siri Guru Nanak Dev Sahib because obviously God doesn't have no past life. There were the coming of God Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji. And so he realized that they're going to save him. So he was blessed, he was saved. His past actions were not counted. His mistakes were not counted, like Guru Sahib Ji saying in his first Pankati. Hamari Ganatana Ganiyaka, I don't count my bad deeds. Guru Sahib Ji didn't count his bad deeds. All those people he'd eaten, they didn't count. They blessed him straight away. They'd saved by Mardana Ji, they didn't count his bad actions of refusing to follow the teachings. They'd still come back and save him. So Guru Sahib Ji always comes and saves us. Sometimes we think the situation is becoming worse. But if we have faith and we follow on their path, we will always be saved. It's very hard to have faith. It's easy for me to say if we have faith and 100% faith in God and Sikhi and Guru Sahib Ji's teachings, we'll always be saved. I believe that. And that faith in me has been built up over time. And who knows, tomorrow something might come up that I, won't, I'll lo I will lose faith in. We never know, but the idea is to build up that faith. The only way to build up that faith is doing Sangat, doing Seva, reading Gurbani, repeating the name of the Lord, because within that you become strong within yourself and nothing then outside phases you. That's part of the effect of Gurbani. So it's easy for us to come, but we have to sort of experience Sikhi. And by reciting Gurbani, repeating the name, our inner strength increases. That inner strength is actually God's strength that we're getting. We're gaining those blessings. Then nothing phases us. All those tensions and worries are gone. So Guru Sahib Ji, we're doing a prayer to Guruji this morning by saying, don't count any of my bad deeds. With your hand, give me your blessing. Recognize me as one of yours. Give me those blessings. Guru Sahib Ji continues. Why will they do that for us? Because they are Satya Sahib, they are the true Master Sad Mehrawan. They are always blessing us and giving us their blessings. Band Paya Mera Sad Guru Pura. Now you can translate this. They've put a band on the Vishavikar, the five thieves, Kam Krod Lomhankar. They've tied them down. That won't be written up there. What will be written up there will probably be Guru Sahib Ji ties us to them. So you can translate this in various ways depending on what your mind is saying. So Guru Sahib Ji ties us to them, keeps us with them. Or we can say all about those deeds, those bad actions, Guru Sahib Ji has tied them up and put them to one side. Hoi Sarv Kalyan. Kalyan means becoming liberated. 
Sarva means there's different forms of mukti and liberation. Guru Sahib is saying that you are blessed with all of those. Raha. So we pause here and reflect on those last two pankti and the last pankti that Guru Sahib is going to tie us with him and give us all the blessings of liberation. But also they're going to tie up all our bad actions and put them to the side. So the person who's given us this G, this soul or the energy inside of us to make us alive, this pind, this body, Janasadjiya, if God has given us all of that, given us the clothes, pendan to wear, khan, the food that we eat, if he's given us all of that, then obviously where his das, where his servant, where his Sikhs, where his Sikh, so if he's given us all of that, then why won't he look out for us? He will always look out for his own. Because otherwise he wouldn't have given us all of this stuff in the first place. It's like your parents give us everything. Our parents generally don't give any other kid, unless they save our dads and they do charity work, they give orphans. But most likely they're going to give your and if your parents, you give to your kids. You buy them clothes, you give them everything. You give them because they're yours. Or your parents gave you because you were theirs. So God has given us, they're obviously given it to us because we're theirs. So they're not going to let us down. We've Again, it's all about that faith and believing in the faith and having trust in the faith. That's where we sometimes fall down because maybe we don't have 100% faith. And that's what we've got to build up by coming to the Saad Sangha. If we build that faith, then you've got no worries, no tensions because you realize this, that you'll always be protected. And for that reason, that Siri Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji is always a sacrifice to, to God. Siri Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji is, is telling us to be a sacrifice to God. The translations up there sometimes always say, Oh Nanak, because the way that the person has translated those is written in the third person. So it's like God is speaking to Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji and then we're trying to get a teaching from it. But Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji is the form of Siri Guru Granth Sahib Ji is our Guru. So when we translate it, we're all, I'm always translating it, or which I've been taught to translate is, we're saying Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji is telling us. Because Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji is our Guru. So it's not a third person that we're following Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji getting blessed by God. Because you could question those translations by saying, if Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji is getting blessed, well, how are we going to get blessed? Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji was in fact the form of God on this earth. So they don't need to be blessed. They're our Guru. It's our teacher is telling us, our Guru is Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji in the form of Sri Guru Ardhan Dev Sahib Ji in the Shabbat, in the form of Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji now, is teaching us that we should be a sacrifice to Wahi Guru because obviously they're going to always look out for us. We just need to build that faith. We've done our prayer for this morning through this message and now build up that faith through the teachings we're going to get. If I've made any mistakes, I beg for forgiveness. You, the Guru Khal Sasad Sahib, can bless and give us a sisa that we can continue sharing the teachings. Uh, we're going to read the last two Pankatiya, then it's going to be Shepa and on the side before we do Ardas. And then we'll get another Hukam Nama, which is the Hukam Nama for the morning. Uh, but this is the message for the day that we can take away. We will get another Hukam Nama, and uh, then obviously we have Deg, and we're going to kick off with the uh, breakfast, and then the camp kicks off from there. So Deho Sajjana Sisiriya, Jehovah Sahib Sumer, Lekha Katehna Shukriya, Khen Khen Poolan Haar, Bhaksan Haar Bhaksala, Nanak Bhaar Uttar, Jiyo Pai Penda Jena Sajjaya, Dirta Penda Na Khaan, Apne Daas Ki Aap Pahj Rakhi, Nanak Saad Gurbaan, Vahe Guru Ji Ka Khasa, Vahe Guru Ji Ki Fateh.